It's super fun playing on my mom's cell phone. It's awesome how you can watch videos on Texting YouTube. and sharing photos. Playing games on my phone. It all started with one question. What new phone to get my daughter? I knew what Tessa wanted, a smartphone. I learned that you spend on average six and a half hours a day looking at screens. As a doctor, I decided I needed to understand the impact of all this screen time on kids. And as a mom, I needed to know what to do. The young adolescent brain can oscillate back and forth very, very quickly, but it comes at a cost. I'm so distracted by my phone, so it's hard to listen to a teacher and actually understand what they're saying. What's extraordinary about the studies on multitasking is even though you're doing worse and worse on everything you're doing, you feel as though you're doing better and better. Who's there to catch you at home? Your mom? You can outsmart her easily. No, no offense. Yeah, mom, it's really hard math thing. The game industry has designed these games to become universes where these kids enter and they don't want to come out to do math. Who wants to do math? When I tried to stop him from playing the games, he turns into another person. I gamed until like one in the morning, and then I gamed three in the morning, and then I gamed until five in the morning. Most of the time, he'd be on the computer, it felt like he was in a different world. I didn't realize how much my sister cared about me. The thing that matters is not whether you're a good person, it's how you look. I took a picture of myself and my bra, and I sent it to him. When I got to school, I knew that everyone else knew. This is one of the most difficult parenting issues we've ever faced. Internet consumption, video game use, is very complicated to parent around. The mistake that parents often make is that they assert their authority without explaining it in a way that makes sense to their child. When parents tell me not to do something, I'm like, what would happen if I did it? When my parents actually had that deep conversation, it works a lot better. It's evolution, it's the future, it's too late, I'm addicted. No, it's not too late. The research that shows human resiliency gives me hope. My friends and I go out to eat. We'll all agree to put our phones in the middle of the table. Whoever checks their phone first has to pay for the meal. When I study, I turn off the data on my phone and that way I can't go on the internet and I can't get text messages. We have to think about everywhere that kids are in the real world and how we can help educate them in those spaces. We can't just say it's on the schools, it's on the parents. We have to do this as a community.